Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today with the March block of the month. And I love this month's pattern. I think it's really fun. I've got two different samples to show you, so you can get a few different ideas for how you want to use the colors in your blocks. And I'll also show you pressing, how I press them both on the back. I also just want to make a comment really quick. I do get a lot of emails about my fabric requirement list and what the light fabric is for or the background fabric. So when I gave you that list in the beginning of fabrics, I included fat quarters and background fabric. And so as you can see, I have used quite a different, what I'm referring to with background are these lighter portions of all the blocks. And with the collection that I'm using, I've been kind of mixing, mixing and matching more low volume prints for those backgrounds. But you could be just using a solid white or a solid gray or solid tan for all of these sections too. And so that's what that fabric is for. You don't have to have it be all one fabric to get your total amount. You can have it made up of different lights. And so that's what I've been doing is just using all of the different low volume lights and, and when I do my sashing I will probably have it be a color. Uh, right now I'm kind of thinking about gray for that because I have the gray in our favorite things collection so I haven't used that in any of my blocks yet. I'm thinking I might keep that out and use that for my sashing. One more note about that. This favorite things fabric collection will be available in June so I will have some available. Fat Quarter Shop already has it on their, you know, coming soon list. But if you're wanting to get started now with these blocks, the reds and greens from our Emma collection coordinate perfectly with this group. So you might have seen I've been sewing the Socialites two blocks with the, for Fat Quarter Shop. And a lot of those blocks, I've used the Emma fabrics right in with these. So if you are thinking that you are gonna want some of this fabric when it's widely available in June, I would really suggest getting a little bit of those Emma reds and greens to mix in with it, especially if you want it to look a little bit more scrappy. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started with this month's block. Okay, so we are here for the March block of the month and I've got January's two versions here and February's two versions here. And now let's talk a little bit about March. I really, really love this design. I had fun doing a couple of different things with it, which I will kind of walk you through right now. So with my small version, I did outer corner reds and inner center red, but I did two different prints to make it a little bit more scrappy. And I used just one background fabric throughout. And then for the inner star points, I went with a dark green. And then for these kind of contrast star points, I went with the light green. Okay, so with my big block, I actually kind of did the opposite, you'll notice. Red center, green center, outer corners red here, outer corners green. And so then I did the flying geese with two different red prints. But then just to kind of mix it up, instead of using my background fabric with this set of flying geese, I use the pink just for kind of a, another pop of color with this one. So really, really fun block. You can use the block lock tools for the two and, a, two and a half by four and a half unfinished, two inches by four inches finished. Those are the same thing. So, and I believe block lock goes by finished. So you're gonna look for the two inch by four inch finished block lock if you wanna use the block lock. You can also use the Creative Grids Ultimate Flying Geese Ruler, which has multiple sizes and does have the two inch by four inch finished. 
Okay, so, and then for these, I actually just on the pattern, we have them sized up a little bit so that you trim them to the correct size. And let me show you the backs so you can get pressing details. So I did press these seams open just to eliminate bulk where the seams are. And then I always press the flying geese up if I can because that just seems to help make that point a little bit crisper. So I always, when there are two flying geese that are sewn, sewn together, I always press them up toward the top one. So with the center row, we pressed into that center square. For the top and bottom rows, we pressed out. And that way these seams nested really nicely. And I just have a really nice flat block. Okay, and I think I did, I did the opposite to show you on my small one. Everything's the same except you'll notice that I pressed this in. And on this one, I pressed out. And I don't know, like, I feel like that maybe didn't matter that much for that seam. So, so whichever one kind of feels comfortable to you. The one thing I did notice was that by pressing this out, we only had two seams that were kind of going backwards. And with this one, there were maybe a few more places. So, so actually maybe this pressing is the best. Okay. so. That's it for the March pattern. You can get the free PDF from my blog. You can download it now. And super excited with all of the blocks and all of the fun fabric combinations that I've been seeing on the internet. Thanks so much for posting them in the Sherry and Chelsea Facebook group and on Instagram. We just have really enjoyed seeing all of the really fun combinations that you are coming up with for your blocks and your quilts. And again, we will po be posting these blocks always on the first Monday of each month. So we will see you back here on the first Monday in April. Okay, so that's it for the March block of the month. I hope you enjoyed as much as I do. I really, really loved making this month's block. And I will be back with the April block on Monday, April 3rd. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.